Hi guys, Later here, and today I have an update video about what I announced yesterday. If you haven't seen that, you should probably go check it out. It's about PSOBB2 and PSOBB compatibility. And I, it's going to be a long journey to get it, this client now to the point that the old PSOBB emulator was at. And so I'm going to make some update videos to show you guys that progress, maybe daily. So today, I'm going to show you some work done on the compatibility layer that allows for the PSOBB client to see movement in the PSOBB2 client. This is not exactly an exciting feature and for a lot of you it'll feel like deja vu, but it is another step in the process of compatibility between the two clients. As you can see we're moving around and you're seeing it on the other screen. And there's also a new feature never before achieved in PSO, but it's always been possible. The client's just never been capable of sending it. But we can actually rotate the character without moving and other, other people on the PSOBB client can see it. So maybe in the lobbies that this could produce a more, you know, social environment. So you can actually look around and stuff. You know, again, not an amazing feature, but something that's nice as a consequence of doing this. You might ask why you can't see other players yet on the PSOBB2 client. And the reason for that is PSOBB2 is built on something called Glad MMO. And the compatibility layer maps between PSOBB packets and Glad MMO packets. The process for spawning PSOBB entities into the world, as you can see on the screen, is a multi packet asynchronous process. The process for spawning an entity in Glad MMO is a singular packet. So some work tonight will have to be done to achieve compatibility between these. And once that's achieved, you'll be able to see players on the other client again. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.